Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to file a patent application online in India. A patent application can be filed with the Indian Patent Office either physically or electronically. In case of an electronic submission, the e-filing module provided by the Patent Office can be used. In order to use the e-filing module, you will have to create an account, a username, a password, and also hold a digital signature or a DSC in order to sign these documents. Once you've created an account and you're ready to log in, you can go ahead and start using all the features provided by the e-filing module for assisting in patent application filing. Now in this case, Let's select a new application from the left hand corner. Once we've selected new application, there will be a pop up which tries to redirect you to the NBA website. Now, this is important if you have biological materials which are used in the invention. If the answer is a yes, then you will have to seek an NBA approval. Else, you may proceed to e filing. Once you proceed to e-filing, the very first field that has to be entered is the type of application that you're trying to file. There are essentially nine options. You can select any one of them. Now in our example here, we will prefer to use ordinary application. The next field to be entered is the type of specification. Now the specification may be either provisional or complete. Let's take complete as an example here. Now we need to enter the number of pages of the description part. This is basically from page number one to the page preceding the claims. Let's assume I have 30 pages of a patent application, which includes around six pages of drawings. Now let's try and split the number of pages as follows. 20 two pages of the description. I have 10 claims. Number of pages are two and number of pages of the abstract is one. This effectively adds up to 25 pages of the form two or the description. Then we have five other additional pages of drawings and these five pages of drawings contain five drawings. Since this is not a biological invention that we're presuming, we do not have a sequence listing. And we can therefore leave it as zero. Now let's fill up the other fields, which include the title of the invention, address to service, etc. In the title of the invention, we need to include what is the title that are filing the patent application for. The address for service is effectively the correspondence address to which all communications must be sent from the patent office. Now in this case, we can select the applicant's address as the address for service. Select the state in which the address for service is located. Enter a mobile number enter the telephone number and enter a fax number if you have one and most essentially include an email address. Also, you have the option of adding an alternate email address to which the patent office can send correspondences to. Under the abstract description and claims field, what the applicant needs to do is copy text, copy and paste the text under the abstract, the text under the description part in his application, and the text of the claims. Once you've done this, we can proceed to add the applicants. You can now identify what is the kind or type of applicant, whether it is a natural person, whether it is an other natural person, whether it is a small entity, startup, or an educational institution. 
Now let's presume that this is a startup that is filing this application. We enter the name of the applicant, provide the applicant's nationality, provide the address of the applicant, provide the PIN code, STD code, telephone number, fax and email of the applicant. Select the country in which the applicant resides, the state from which the applicant operates, the district, and finally, the city in which the applicant is located. Once you've added this, you should be able to see all the applicant details in a field. You can add several other applicants by clicking on the Add Applicant button. And if the inventor and applicant are the same, you can just select this field which says Inventor same as applicant. If that is the case, it will copy the same data as above. Or if the inventor and applicant are different, go ahead and select Add Inventors. You can select the gender of the inventor and add the name of the inventor, add the nationality of the inventor and the address of the inventor as also the country, the district and the inventor city. Once you've added this, you should be able to see all the inventor details onto the field. Check it and add further inventors if there are more. The next section is a declaration by the applicants. Some of these fields are auto-selected and cannot be removed. Now this happens to be a complete application. So as you can see, the field of complete specification has been automatically selected. In case there is an assignment or where, for example, I am assigning my rights to Banana IP to file this patent application, I can select that I am or we are the assignee or legal representatives to the true and first inventor. In case the applicant and inventor are the same, there is no need to click this particular field. Now, if you are a startup or a small entity or an educational institute, a Form 28 needs to be filed along with the application. You can also file a request for examination and a request for early publication. If you are filing one, you will have to select both of these fields. If not, you can choose to let them be. Lastly, select on the condition. I agree that the above information submitted are true to my best knowledge. Once we've selected this and saved, the application or the form is saved successfully. You can now upload all the documents pertaining to this application such as the form 1, the drawings, the proof of right, the complete specification, statement of undertaking and declaration of inventorship. In case there is an agent acting on your behalf, a power of authority can also be uploaded. Now once we've uploaded all of these documents, you can directly proceed to sign the documents. When we sign the documents, you will need to use the, the Digital Signature Certificate or a DSC token that is provided to you by one of the digital service providers. The application can also be viewed under the Drafted Forms section, where a copy of whatever you have currently entered will get saved for further use. So you can now select both of these documents and proceed to sign the document. Once you do, and once you have signed the document, the application is now ready to be filed. But prior to this, a payment must be made to the Patent Office. This payment is reflected under the form amount. Once you have made the payment, this temporary application number is converted to a permanent application number. And this permanent application number is your patent application. This is the number that you can then use 
in all references to your invention. Thank you.